so material testing lab experiment number 8 iso test is one of the impact testing machine so aim to observe the behavior of given specimen under impact and to determine the energy absorbed by the specimen during impact apparatus impact testing machine and accessories for iso test specimen 75 into 10 into 10 so this is a specimen iso specimen of length 75 Thickness ten into ten, with a V notch of two mm. Procedure: A proper striker striker is firmly secured to the bottom of the hammer, and also the specimen mounting assembly is fixed to the base. Second, before proceeding to the actual test, the frictional loss in the machine is to be determined for this adjustment reading, and correct it to the one sixty four joules. When the pendulum is hanging free. Vertically, now raise the hammer by hands and latch at 90 degrees. Release the hammer by operating the lever, and the pointer will indicate the energy loss due to frictional friction. Confirm the frictional loss is not exceeding 0.5 percent of initial potential energy. If not, correction of frictional loss is to be applied. Two additional weights are to be fastened on the sides of the hammer. These weights account for 0.5 percent frictional loss. Raise the hammer by hands and latch it. Sixth one, mount the specimen on the support with proper positioning of notch using setting gauge. Seventh one, release the pendulum by operating lever. Eighth one, bring the pendulum to still by applying the brake. Ninth one, read the position of the reading point against the scale and note down. Specification: Maximum impact energy of the pendulum is one sixty four kilojoules. Second one, angle of drop of pendulum is ninety degrees for ISO test. Third one, effective weight of the pendulum is twenty point nine three zero kgs. Fourth one, minimum value of scale graduated is two joules. E division is two joules. Fifth one, striking velocity of pendulum is three point eight five seven meters per second. Sixth one, permissible frictional loss is zero point five percent. Now observation. So observation, total impact energy of the pendulum is one sixty four joules. Total permissible frictional loss is zero point five percent, that is of zero point eight two joules. Observed frictional loss. Here it's zero. Now correction factor is friction loss minus permissible friction loss is zero point zero minus of zero point eight two. That is zero minus zero point eight two joules. Next energy absorbed by the specimen. So we we have to do the experiment. Then we'll get to know this in joules. Sixth one total iso strength of the specimen. So total iso strength of the specimen. So energy absorbed. Minus correction factor. So after now we will conduct the experiment on iso test. So this schematic diagram shows the specimen mounting of iso test. So the specimen is mounted vertically with a V notch facing towards the pendulum. So this is the impact testing machine. So both the iso and chappy test are carried out on this machine. Set the pointer to zero mark. This zero mark. Now raise the pendulum to ninety degrees and latch it with the accessories. Now the specimen is placed in the fixture with the notch facing towards the pendulum side. Now release the lever. Now the pendulum flies and breaks the specimen. And with the hand brake, bring it to rest. Now note down the readings on the iso scale, that is the inner scale, which reads to thirty, which reads to thirty-two. Thirty-two means one division is two joules. So it will be ten, twenty, thirty-two, thirty-two, thirty-four. So this is so five divisions plus ten divisions, fifteen and sixteen, sixteen to two. That is thirty-two joules. So therefore, our energy absorbed is thirty-two joules. So now for therefore, the initial reading. 
E of is zero. Now, energy absorbed by the specimen. Now, just now we uh, found that it is 32. Now, the actual energy is E A minus E F. That is 32 minus zero. That is 32. And cross section of the specimen is 80. That is, it is 2 mm with the 2 mm notch. At the notch, it is 80 mm square. Now, therefore, the impact strength of the specimen is given formula is E A minus E F upon the cross section. So, E A minus E F is 32 upon 80. We get the impact stress of the specimen that is joules per mm square.